Welcome back guys, Nightsparks here and today we are playing some more Biomutant. Last episode we went and fought the giant asshole who's been trying to kill us and it turns out our mom's a giant asshole for killing his mom. I don't really hold anything against him, I don't really care about my character's backstory, it wasn't the best and you know, it was, it's, it's a fine backstory but it's, I've, I've had better. A lot of games have done it better. This game's done a lot of things very good, though. The the world, amazing. Scenery, amazing. I love how they represent, like, radiation zones or the purple ones or the fire zones. Just, you know, heat zones or whatever the fuck they call them. There's a few of them, and I really like how they represent all that. That's really nice over there. I can't see any other zones from here, but well, that's fine. We've got the dead zone that's somewhere in that direction. But yeah, this game's done a lot of good things. It's done a lot of things right. I'm not 100% on the morals it's giving you. But uh, it's a game. And I'm probably taking it way more serious than others. It just seems a little bit... Uh, you know, even last episode confirmed when I started to think about it. Like, it's all about purity. And it's all about this race. And all other races need to be vegetarian. But that then goes against individuality and all that, so I don't know. But it, it's fun. It's a it's a good game. I'd recommend it. It's just, don't take it too seriously. Don't play it too seriously. Alright, so anyway, last episode we got told to go and see fucking One Leg in here. What's his, what's his name? Uh, out of Date. Ridiculous name. Board his little shitty spaceship. At any point, can I fly this? I still don't know what these are. They're so weird. Look at them. So weird. All right, buddy. Where's the pilot seat on this ship? One minute. Is there like a, a, a front to it? Okay. Yeah, there is. There's a pilot's deck. So where's the pilot? How do I get there? Is it just not going to explain it? Is it going to be one of those fucking things? Or these? Oh, wait. Maybe this is it. Oh, this look. Yeah, this is it. Okay. It's explained itself. I'm happy. Okay, buddy. What you want? Out of date says that from what he's heard, you've been busy. I have been a little busy, yeah. He says he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately he's got urgent news from his friend Noko in the east. Okay. Out of date says that even though he's unsure about your intentions, he hopes you will support Noko. My inter I've ended the war! He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Noko and making sure she gets what she needs is up to you. Okay. Do I know Noko? I don't think so. I don't re remember. That doesn't sound good. Oh. Out of date was spot on. The hoof puff needs to be stopped. The hoof puff? What the fuck? Yeah. What's up yeah. with these names? Out of date says that Noko is worried now that the Eastern World Eater is stepping up its activity. Weren't you worried about the last one doing that? He explains that Noko keeps a fabled steed that she has planned to ride out to the World Eater, but needs help to get it prepared. Okay. Out of date suggests that you should head east as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. Okay. He's happy to help. Yeah, I'm happy you could help too. Bye. Says goodbye to you. Goodbye, old crazy man. Let's roll. Let's go and find Nako. How far? Oh, actually, it's, it, it's a little far, but not too far. It seems a lot further than it is the 2000 thing, but we'll be fine. To today. Tomorrow's already gone. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Hmm. Anywhere close by. If we go here... Yeah, we can get there from there.
So this is pretty interesting. We got two more of these fucking monsters to kill. And then probably got to take on that big guy again. Who got sucked into the tree that I have no idea what that represents. Is he going to corrupt the tree? Is he going to become the fucking tree? I don't know. I don't have a fucking clue. Or maybe we'll never see him again and that's the end of it. Because they were like, you have to resolve this. And then, and then I went off and he died or something. There's my goat. There's my fucking goat. Oh, the marker's making out his fur. Oh no, this is where I'm going, not there. Let's turn off my map marker. Uh, how do I turn off the waypoint? Okay, not what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place another waypoint and then just turn it off. There we go. Okay, anything in here? Did I really not loot this place? Okay. I'm guessing if I didn't loot that, I'd... Oh no, I must have just missed it. Hmm. All right, let's go. Ooh, the moon is pretty cool in this game. I've seen it before, but it looks... Oh, I only got one, really, from that? Piss take. Look at that. That's amazing. This checkpoint's under R. Yep. I wonder, because I made peace with the other villages... Does it mean my forces are in their town, their cities, or are their cities still they occupied by their own forces? Affair. Look at all those old homes. Yeah. We've, um, I'm getting stuck. Whoa. I didn't mean to do that shit. Stay away from us. Go. No. Go. Damn it. My goat's in the way. Don't worry, goat. It's okay. I can't see. I'm just going to try and imagine. Yep. Little goat men things. This might be the end of everything as we know it. Look! A spiral groover from the long ago. An apparatus that plays mellow discs. Wouldn't be surprised if it still works. Okay, we'll check that out. Nice. wonder how I can use that. Scrap over there. There we go, we got four from that one. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't know I could talk to you. I'm just gonna start looting your stuff. You know, every time I've met one of your kind, you've attacked me. Oh god, it's rubbing off. I'm assuming. <laughs> Terrible. You need to unturn the pipe tightness to drain the flush stool. Just a few moves left. Make them count. That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. Yep. Right, nothing in here. The 
gooing of the water in the ground is spreading. Okay. Um. Oh god, no, I don't I don't need this right now. I'm looking to loot. I'm looking to loot. Nice. Now we're gonna have to get into crafting soon. I think we got everything. I don't need to fight that oh what's that? There's something in here. Did I miss something? Okay. It's right above me. Oh, I did miss something in here. Nice. Vending machine gave me metal for some reason. Ooh, oh my god, it's one of those masks. Um from I can't what it's called. It's the kinda like Halloween but in Mexico. Ooh. Looks like the Groover's arm needs to be nudged to get the needle in position and hear the mellow disc's message. Okay. Just a few moves left. Make them count. I have no idea. Oh, okay, cool. It's a Chi-Chi Bebop code memo. Good thing I'm old enough to decipher it. It sing songs about a secret below ground area, just a walkabout from here. Secret below ground? Night just... gives you relief from the day. It does. But now I want to know about this cave. Or this secret place. Let's on the map and see if we can spot anything. Hmm, there's two holes here. There's one on the mountainside. I'm going to assume it's this one. We'll go check it out. Come on, boy. I know we should be doing something else, but this is kind of what I do. I go exploring. I find crap. Let's go. Enjoy your crappy life. At least you're doing something I thought everyone should be doing. Living in these towns... Oh no, that's just the road tunnel, isn't it? That's just the tunnel on the road. Is it? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Must be that then. Okay, completely off track. That's some good e-waste then. Thanks. Right, we need to find a way up here. Oh, this is totally it. This is this is something. Ooh, okay, more hidden shit. <coughs> if this isn't it, I'd be very surprised. Oh. Crap. Well, I'm not going to be able to get in here. Okay, we'll have to come back here at a, a later date. Okay, well, at least now we know this is definitely it. But I don't have resistance to that. Where's my goat? You can't really understand your story till it's done. I'll loot these cars and I will call my goats again. Not here. Good. Where the fuck's my goat? Oh, good. Goat. No, I just want to... Fine, fuck you. I need to shave. Oh god, he's got his minions. Why even fucking bother? Oh, he's fighting something else. Alright, time to take full advantage. 
I thought that was one of his teammates, but no, apparently not. Nope, I rolled right into that one, didn't I? This one's not the same as the others I fought. They normally run just at me. This one just feels like shooting shit at me. One seems to have gone off. Where is my goat? There it is. Nice. Let's roll. Fuck you, giant rat. Perhaps now you can see your targets better. This place is called Brightlight. Mito lives close by. Okay. Hi. Well, as good it is to meet you, Meatlo, or something. Let me just, uh, well, I'll be back. You're clearly a side Let's thing. See. Okay, so we're getting close now, so I look we need to go meet. All right, buddy, we'll talk. You look interesting. Don't care. It's like Red Dead, you can't kill everything you see on the side side of the road. Oh look, more cool goats. Badass. Alright guys. Oh you guys are oh no, I thought they were different. I thought their feet were different. No, they're not. Some kind of Ah. The Gnoat Pen. Nocco never leaves this place. She's always put the living things first. I don't know what that is. Hmm. It's like one of those old chimneys, doesn't it? That just kind of point out of the ground these days. There's nothing near them. A lot of that in England. Not in the countryside. Do we know each other? I seem to know everyone else. Isn't an easy language, but at least it's manageable. Okay. She says she is so happy to see you again. Apparently she so. She wonders if you remember her. She's Nocco. She let you ride her majut when you were a kid. No. Nocco remembers you used to chase around with so much energy and is glad to see you haven't lost any of that spark. But that's all long gone now, though. Memories show us where we've been. Not more, more about the bullshit past and then just ignore it. It's ridiculous. Okay. Is sure they'll come back on their own once you stop forcing them. Hopefully not to haunt you, though. You've suffered enough already. Noko remembers those days, too. Your feet she are never glitching. lets herself wallow in them, no matter how tempting that can be. She sees your back to buck with Lupa Lupin. Yep. Can't see how there's any way to avoid that now. Not for long, at least. She says the horrors of your younger days were enough to ruin anyone, but not you. You've got all that cheer about you still. Do I? <laughs> I'm such a cheery guy. Nocco says history is like the trail you've been on. You can walk back down it any time you like until it's worn smooth. But you get to blaze your own trail from here. Bala. Then you are stronger than her. She can't help wanting Lupa Lupin to pay for what he did to her Gnotes, despite the fact it's against her nature. Run, okay. Doc, run! It's not a race. You only say that because you're losing. 
doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, there are lots of other reasons you're wrong. Oh, okay. Bye. Asks how many paths you've wandered in the world, and if you ever wonder about what might have changed if you'd taken different ones. You can't do everything you want. Can't go everywhere. Can't see everything. Only what you can. Yeah. So happy the world is going to live. Would have been crushed to see all the gnotes die with it. Likes that you stood up for the world and spurred your way toward helping it out. Glad you saw the light with the myriad. They always bring a sparkliness to any day. And sometimes the nights do. Okay. Says that's only for a little while, and when your eyes clear, you see everything even better than before. But let's not speak of that now. She has an idea where the Majut might have gone, as there's no other place it likes as much as its own corner of the open wild. Okay. She's even named it the Majut Meadow. What the fuck's the Majut? The Majut will recognize the scent you've attracted while being here, so it'll probably trust you enough to follow you. You should lead the Majut back here when you find it. It's going to take time to get it calm enough to be able to ride out to the World Eater. Oh, I'm getting a new animal. Okay. It's the most magnificent creature she's ever encountered. A creature straight out of a dream or story. Okay, let's go and find the Majut. Where the fuck is my goat? Oh, gotta do this. Let's see. Okay, so it's not that far. Best part of a mount? No need to refuel. Uh, actually, you, can, you need to feed it. Guess I don't. It just seems quite alright, just running endlessly. Ooh, more shit. Oh, definitely good stuff. Oh, okay, I only got one. That kind of sucks. I spent a lot of it on resistance for radiation. So I just need to save up more for the others and I can... Oh. Come on. Buddy, you can do it. I know you can. I guess you can. You're an ass. You found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut. Oh no. These little, little monster men are here to fight me. What can I do? You know what they look like? They... Remind me of that uh, little man in the Disney movie. Oh, which one is it? It's the one with all the... Is it Greek god? Yeah, Greek gods. I can't what it's called. Adam West. No, not Adam West. I don't know Adam West. Um, what's his voice actor called? James Woods plays someone in there. He plays the main bad guy. Okay. Pretty. Oh god. Oh god, no, look at its face. Oh no. Oh god, that is. That is a face of a nightmare. She's right, it was a dream, a fucking nightmare. Was she. Oh no. Is that it? Is it actually gonna follow me? Or just. Oh no, it is following me. It's your moment. You need. To focus. No. A fucking course. Oh no, of course something random would fucking happen. Oh, does it attack with me? That's pretty cool.
This one's more jump around, jump around. No, oh, I flew across that. Come on, shit. Okay, he's just past half. Can I ride you? No. Let's go. Morning is breaking. Come on. Not following. Oh, oh, he's just teleporting. Wonderful. Oh. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm. But Nocco is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. What? The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. Okay. She figures the choosies from the old world are made from gummy trees, but wouldn't be surprised if they were actually made from some chemical concoction, though. Alright, gummy trees. Let's go. That is one ugly animal. That weird lion thing is terrifying. Not in the mood, buddy. I'm going to do this dead quick. Oh, I can't do it. Damn it. Where am I going again? Nice. Some bark wood scrap for you. Thank you. wonder where we can get some ride shoes for the mud. Ooh. Look at that, that looks kind of odd where it is. A crossway. This means you have a choice to make. Which way? Okay. It's like we're in one of these buildings. Bolted shut. Not opening for you. Really? Okay. Take that. Red telephone boxes. What year was this? That These things like aren't the still being used. Need to be wheeled to buzz the wire. 
Just a few moves left. Make them count. Wired up and ready to go. Okay. Got lost. Oh, we're getting loads of stuff from that. Nothing like a story with an unexpected ending. Okay, kind of pointless. You don't see that in the shops. No, you don't. I'm in the shop. Of course you do. I'm in the shop. Nothing else in here. Some chocolate. Oh, not chocolate. We're talking about this. Some medical supplies or whatever. Okay. What are you doing? And you get upstairs. Oh, there's loads of shit here. to time it right to make them work left okay. right left right pumping good looking better okay that's a bit odd someone has to end this plague before it's too late yeah I knew I was missing something enough slack in the line hmm more medical supplies mask nice Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Gotcha. Let's, uh... Open that. I miss this giant fuck-off crate in the living room. and steady. No, what the hell am I doing? Oh, that's how you get across. Got it. That's a motored blind box dispenser. 
These auto markets were quite cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate well, fucking the dispenser. Done it. Just a few moves left. What you see is what you get. Once it's out of the blind box, that is. You sh it's a glorious shiny day out here. Flick the switches in order to green light the current and activate the electrons in the panel. Okay. Good. The loop is electrified enough to spark. We got what we come for. We get it? Yep, let's head back. Okay, that's pretty good. We did we get a fast travel point at anything? Any point? No, but it's not. It's not far. Hey guys. I've um, lost track of which way I'm going. Oh, just the same way. Nope. There it is. Hey, buddy. No, he didn't even eat it. He didn't even open his mouth. He just kind of, no. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down. But you'll need a heavier sit tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world mecha majut. Okay. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the gnotes. That's not so far away. All right. It's a seat you fasten on the back of a mount to safen up your ride. It can become quite bumpy and risky without. Let's go. We'll level up very, very soon. We should be able to fast travel at this point. Let's see. Where's the closest fast travel point? Really? None near it? Is that one? You would have thought. Okay. Is it closer? Yeah, but not by a lot. Okay, so we're going to get this uh, chair or something for our new mount. I'm not sure why I need a chair suddenly, because I fucking got this guy and I had a horse before that I was doing fine with. That rubber scrap. You know? That paid off. Did it? I got two rubber from all that. Okay. I think I might have been here. Where she's describing. I think I might have already done everything here. Except, obviously, get this, because I wouldn't be able to. I think I saw a robot horse at some point when we were playing this game. But I couldn't ride it's it. It's a ride, not a friend, right? Uh, no, I think he's a good friend. He's a good goat. I would say my dogs were my friends. I loved my dogs. They're, they're all gone, unfortunately, now. But I loved them. Fucking love those dogs. Two chocolate laps. Beautiful. When I was younger, I had guinea pigs. And then I found a guinea pig in when I was 15, I think. Just on the road by itself. With no one around. 
in actually it was it wasn't on the road it was uh, it was and it wasn't it was um in front of the abandoned uh, abandoned house that was just on its own on like next to the golf course it was just by itself on the golf course an abandoned house and there was just a guinea pig living in the garden it was skinny as fuck it was terrified but i caught it and i got him fat he lived how many years did he live um don't even see far he died a year ago so with me, he lived a good five, six years, and he was at least a few years old when I got him. He was already big. He was just very skinny. But yeah, I've been here before. Yeah, I saw this horse. Loosen the boats without rattling I was looting this place at some point. I was dead fucking confused with whatever. The I thought I there was a way for me to unlock this, but I, I guess not. No, I fucked it. Oh, wait, no, I haven't. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Nice. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to not. Oh, okay. So I've also got this now. Is this? I guess. Oh, this is really quick. Let me try something. Let me see all my uh, my mounts. Uh, where are they? Yeah, I got a new mount. Cool. So I got uh, I got this thing. I got my robo horse, and I got uh, this guy. Okay, I'm gonna try this robot out for a while, but I think we won't be using him for long, so I just got Let's something get new. That mount moving while the getting is good. Okay, fuck you two. Oh, oh no. We've already looted all these. Oh yeah, this is really quick. And I don't think he runs out of energy either. I don't think the goat does. I know the horse does, the uh, the normal one. Slows down after a while. Okay, we need to find a fast travel point. What's this? That notice board is cleaner than just about anything else around here. Is it? You're nudging up toward a played out sludge field. Just follow your nose. This place used to pump sludge from the ground for fuel. If you think the sludge was nasty, it was worse when the Toxanol Corporation burned it. Some of it, but mostly they sent it to plants where they turned it into go juice and then burned that. You can probably find a track around here if you look hard enough. Well, we're not doing that today, but that's pretty cool to find out. Okay. So is this a refining station? No, no, yeah, must have been. There's the, the things that get them up the, I don't know what the fuck they're even called. But yeah, there's the, the whole, the things that held it, containers. Okay, where am I actually going? I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm not near or anywhere anywhere I need to be. Alright, guys, I'll get you when we get a bit closer. Right, let's talk. Oh. It's nice. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut okay. is ready to ride. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. She's called them glitter moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. Okay. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. They're small airborne creatures with bright reflective wings and a conspicuous fluttering flight. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed. We got ourselves a... Oh, no, yeah, I know, sorry. Yes, yeah, I for some reason tried to jump on it. He's not ready. We'll get him ready soon. So, guys, I'll see you in the next one. This episode, we got a new horse. Next episode, we're probably going to get this giant, creepy cat monster thing uh what else did we do we ran around we met this individual who apparently knows us but i have no memories in the game of her i thought she might have been the one that beat me up but apparently not i think i'm did she just say it's about time i meet gizmo 
I've met Gizmo. It doesn't matter. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.